Good day, human Latio Sites. This is Latio Suzuril, and welcome to Pokemon Scorching Scarlet, the official video guide. Here we are, finally. Let's let's have some fun. So this is the second ROM that I made that has uh, been out. So let's just. Take a look around what is here. Now, first of all, I am going to uh, just, as a disclaimer, put out this isn't going to be a normal Let's Play. Uh, we are going to, um, it is going to function like a guide, so I'm going to limit what I do per uh, part. So it's not going to be a uh, straightforward Let's Play. So episode, some episodes are going to be really uh, short, some might be a little bit longer, depending on the areas that I am in. So, just as a note. That said, let's actually start. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokémon. My name is Sequoia, but everyone calls me the Pokémon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, and at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates, and sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are... So, are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, I'm a boy, so let's do that. And I don't even need to write my name because I am... I'm just gonna take the, the first default, like a boss. Yes, I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. Ah, okay. Your Eric is moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokémon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Something tells me you're not going to be in the lab. And as always, we're starting out in a truck because... Because, uh... I don't know. A box is printed with, Pokemon, with a Pokemon logo. It's a Pokemon brand moving and delivery service. Interesting. Let's, you know, hop on out. Here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room! Let's go inside! Sure. See, Eric? Isn't it nice in here, too? Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Eric, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it! Um... Sure. Alright, that is a very, uh... That is a very happy Machoke that seems to just be randomly, uh, randomly gyrating in front of that TV. Interesting. Alright, so we have our own room right here. Don't we? Boot it up the PC. Okay. Let's take out a fresh water, because why not? Alright, the clock has stopped. Better start it. Okay, what time is it? Well, it's actually not all that late right now. Although it is, um... Well, actually, it is evening, so I went the wrong direction, because I didn't pay attention to the AM part. It doesn't really matter what time it is, to be fair. But hey, might as well use the actual time. It's about 7.30 right now. Okay. Eric, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. 
Ah, thanks for telling me about the fresh water. So kind of you. Oh, Eric, Eric, come. Come quickly. Look, it's Petalbird Gym. Maybe that'll be on. We brought you this report from in front of Petalbird Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Sequoia is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over in order to meet him. Sure, why not? Ah, uh, you can tell. Y you can easily tell who made this game just based on the uh, signature Azuril all over the place. <laughs> Alright, this is my house, and this would be Professor Sequoia's house. Fair enough. If you use a PC, you can store items in Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. Yeah, this is Little Root Town, a town that can't be shaded by any hue. Alright. Um, hey there! Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're Eric, our new next-door neighbor. Hi! We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter's upstairs, I think. Okay. Sure. Hey there. Pokemon fully restored. Items ready, and... Huh? Huh? Who... Who are you? Oh, you're Eric? So you're moveless today? Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I had this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you, Eric, from my dad, Professor Sequoia. I was hoping that you would be nice, Eric, and that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I... I just met you! Eh... Uh, oh, I, I... I forgot! I was supposed to help Kid Dad catch some wild Pokemon! Er, I'll catch you later! Alright, see ya. Alright, well, that's May. I guess she may be a friend. Maybe not. Who really knows? I can hear someone shouting down the road here! What should I do? What should we do? Somebody's gotta help! Yeah, I don't think that somebody's gonna be me. I, I'm a little bit nervous to, to do very much. Let's let's go check out the, uh, the professor's lab. Huh? Professor Decoya? Professor's away on fieldwork, ergo he isn't here. Oh, let me explain what fieldwork is. It is to study things in the natural environment, like fields and mountains, instead of the lab. The professor isn't one for doing desk work. He's the type of person would rather go outside, experience things, and read about them here. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, maybe we should go try to find him, or help him, or whatever it takes. For some reason, there's this glitch-like thing where the ED loads after you take a step. Don't exactly know why, but it's there. Whenever you walk outside the lab. Probably because there's too many sprites on the screen at a given time, so it takes a while for it to load. I don't know. As far as glitches go, it's pretty harmless. That said, let's go find Professor Sequoia. H help me! Oh goodness lord. He's got- he's being chased by a Poochiana, isn't he? Hello, you over there! Please help! In my bag is a Pokeball! Um... Where are you going? Don't leave me like this! Okay. So, the starters are... The Emanation Pokemon, Riolu, the Puppy Pokemon, Growlithe, and the Puppy Pokemon, Rockruff. Now, honestly, they all have their uses. Um, they all have uh, special gimmicks to them and whatnot. Uh, this is a Gen 4 Pokemon, this is a Gen 1 Pokemon, this is a Gen 7 Pokemon. <laughs> um, there are a few Gen 7 Pokemon in here. I really like all of them. I really like, I really like Lucario. Um, I feel like I really, I, a lot of times when beta testing it, I did run it with uh, Riolu as the starter. I love Growlithe so much that it, 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 it it's sad um, that I can't always uh, pick it. But my favorite of the three is definitely Rockruff. So uh, we're going Rockruff. Dog versus dog, because, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, our type triangle. We have three dogs, because technically Riolu is a canine-like Pokemon. So we have technically the type triangle is completed by Riolu's secondary type, because basically 
Um, steel beats rock. Rock, um, beats fire. Fire beats steel. So it's a triangle. Of course, it's also that fighting typing, so technically fighting beats rock, rock beats fire. Um, so, it's close to a, to, to a triangle. Kind of missing one little, uh, piece of it if you were using the fighting typing, but technically I was trying to go for a steel type, but Riolu was kind of the closest to a dog I could find for that. That said, let's go bite this thing. We do not have a type advantage here, we do not have stab, but at the same time, neither does that Riolu. There's not Riolu, neither does that Puchiana. What am I saying? Riolu would have, a, um, would probably have a better time with this. Actually, actually it probably wouldn't, to be fair. I think Growl is gonna have a better time with this. I think Riolu only has Bite at level 5 in this game. So... All we have is, is Bite, uh, but it's gonna be enough to become Puchiana. Puchiana is not very strong, so... There we go. Woo! I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped! You saved me! Thank you! Oh, hi, you're Eric! This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? It's later! So, Eric, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins, after all. Ah, yes! As thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have that Pokemon you used. So that we receive the Rockruff. While you're at it, why not give it a nickname? Sure, sure. I'm gonna... I'm not even gonna be creative here. I'm going to name you... Just Rocky. Rocky the Rockruff. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a darn good trainer. My kid May is on Route 2 studying Pokemon. It might not be a bad idea for you to go see May. What do you think? Great, May should be happy too. Get May to teach you how to be a Pokemon trainer. Um, I thought you said I could... You know what, never mind. Let's just go find May, shall we? May we? We may. Route 1! Up to Old Ale Town. So yes, you can just cut right through. Or you could just walk into the grass and run into a wild zigzagoon. Rocky, you can do this. Let's bite! Flinch! No, don't flinch. Okay, you're not gonna flinch. Okay. You're gonna cut my attack? I don't even care! We do not have a physical special split in this game, I'm sorry. But... The fairy type, unlike in Grass Jewel, there is no fairy typing nor physical special split from Gen 4 in this game. However, that's life. <laughs> Alright, also you get a lot of experience because the game isn't necessarily the easiest thing, so I figured I'd try to make grinding a little easier for people, or less necessary for people, should I say. So here we are in Old Ale Town. How uh, quaint. Hey there! Hi, I work at Pokemart. Can I get you to come with me? Sure, why not? This is the Pokemon Mart. Just look for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Here, I'd like you to have this, the promotional item. With that, we obtain the potion. The potion can be used any time, so it's even more useful than a Pokemon Center in certain situations, although you're better off with just fresh water. Ah, good to know. Good to know. Hello, how can we help you? You have potions, you have antidotes, you have par paralyzed heals, you have awakening. Okay. The herb shop. You've got energy root, energy powder, heal powder, and revival herb. So, you got some, uh, right off the bat, there's like max revival. You don't even have Pokeballs yet, so hey. You know. Although that thing will make your Pokemon not like you, so there's that. I want to take a rest, so I'm saving my progress. You go do that, girl. You go do that. So let's move on. Whoa. Ah, uh, wait. Please don't come in here. I just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish catching them, okay? Sure. Why not? This is, of course, Old Eel Town, where things start off scarce. Very scarce, aren't they? So, trainer tips. If you want to stop Pokemon from evolving, press the B button while it is trying to evolve. The startled Pokemon will stop. This is called Evolution Cancel. Sure. Wingle, you're blocking me. Hey, man. Hello, would you prefer to play in a PG-rated world where language is censored? Sure. 
Very well, feel free to change your mind at any time. So basically, one thing I added in this game was you, because a lot of people requested with after Grass Jewel, is there is a censored mode. So this way you don't have to worry about uh, what certain language and content that is that can be considered inappropriate. So you don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is tell this guy you want it to be censored and you got a PG rated world. If you say no, then it's on you at that point. Alright, this is Route 2. Aldale Town is down that way. I am sorry, but you cannot pass through here now. There have been some horrible criminal activity going on by various underground organizations. Ah, well then, I guess we have no choice but to go up. Don't we? Alright. Hey there, May, how's it going? Let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 2 include... Oh, hi, Eric! Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle! I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like! Sure, let's do this! So, we are challenged by Pokemon Trainer May! She, of course, has the Riolu because she has the uh, good old fashioned type advantage. But, since we're, we got to level 6, although now we're at level 7, we have Headbutt. Because Bite would not be very useful against the Riolu, I must say. All she has is Bite, so we're, we're good. Basically, if you get as long as you level up once, you'll be good to go against your rival. If you don't level up, if you battle your rival at level 5, you're going to have some real trouble in this battle. So especially if you're doing a Nuzlocke, make sure to... You don't have to go doing massive grinding. If you beat one wild Pokemon, you should practically be guaranteed to gain a level. Uh, the, the Capuchiana in the first battle, notwithstanding, that is. So as long as you battle one wild Pokemon on uh, either Route 1 or Route 2, you're pretty much guaranteed to, lose this, to, to win this battle, unless you really don't know what you're doing. Well, that's great. Uh, you're pretty good. So now we got $300 for winning. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Okay. Back to the lab we go! Okay. So here we are back in the town of Little Root. Okay, hey there, Professor, how's it going? Oh, hi, Eric. I heard you beat May on your first try, and that's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a while. May has an extensive history as a, as a trainer already. Here, I ordered this for my research, and I think you should have this Pokedex. So with that, we receive the Pokedex. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records that in the Pokedex, May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, Eric! You got a Pokedex too! That's great! Just like me! I've got something for you too! So that, we got our Pokeballs handled, handed to us. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm gonna look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs! I wonder where I should go look for Pokemon next! Countless Pokemon will eat you. Now I'm getting the itch to go out and do field work again! Awesome! You go do that. You go do that. Hey, Mom, what's up? Wait, Eric! Eric, Eric, did you introduce yourself to Professor Sequoia? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon! So you got it from the Professor. You're your father's child, all right. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. So now we switch shoes with the running shoes. Eric, those shoes uh, came with instructions. Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race in the great outdoors. 
you think that you have your own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on. Go get them, honey. Yay! We have running shoes now! Hooray! Alright, so let's see what we got. It's a Wurmple! Um, I'm not catching a Wurmple. We're not doing a Nuzlocke thing here, so I don't need to catch you. Get one-shotted. Get one-shotted! Well, actually, there is a really cool thing with Wurmple, that, um, if you- if your Wurmple gets to level 7 when it evolves, it technically evolves into Silcoon, but the Cascoon appears as well. Basically, it's the, uh, the Ninjask slash Jedinja method. So it'll go into another Pokeball you happen to have. Alright, am I about to one-shot the Hoo Hoo? Ooh, the Hoo Hoo's living! It's living! You know what? I am about to catch you, and, um... I like Hoot Hoot, so... Let's do this! Hoot Hoot, do you want to be caught? You do want to be caught! Gotcha! Hoot Hoot was caught! Yay, okay, we got ourselves a Hoot Hoot. Give you a nickname? Sure, sure. Hi. Alright. We have I, the Hoot Hoot! <gasps> The god has appeared! Alright, it is a sensitive. No, I didn't want to actually KO you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sentrit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Well, okay, you know what? I want to Sentrit now, suddenly. Also, another thing about Hoot Hoot. It's a psychic type. <laughs> um, it just is, so. Alright, Rocky's at level 10. I think we are good with levels on Rocky for now. You know what, let's... I is not very powerful, or not very strong right this second, being at low health, so... Oh my goodness, so many hoot hoot! So many hoot hoot! We could always just go for a rock throw, and that stab as well is super effective, so bye bye hoot hoot, it's been fine. So grinding in this game is extremely easy when you get down to it, because, uh, the experience yield is very high. Okay, there we go, another Sentrit. I'm gonna bite you, because it's not Stab. Um, we get the Flinch. I mean, Hebba wouldn't be Stab, but it is more powerful. Alright, let's, let's Pokeball it. Come on, Sentrit, you know you want to be caught. Come on. Oh my goodness! You're breaking out! Breaking out! You don't want to be caught, do you? You know what? You have a high catch rate. I know you do. I know you do. You're eccentric. You know you want to be caught. There we go! We got ourselves eccentric. Because we're, we're getting that Johto power today. Johto. Hashtag Johto power. Alright. Eccentric, I'm going to name you... Um... Many good names, uh, but I'm gonna name you. Mm. Uh. God is way too obvious. Um, Dexter is way too obvious. Uh. Also been done. So how about I'm gonna name you. gonna go name you Fluffy. I don't even know why. But hey. So, we've got Fluffy. We've also got I. And we've got Rocky. Rocky has a bold nature, <laughs> which is really bad. But you know, that's... Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? At least Bite's not, not hurt by the physical attack drop from bold. Because it raises physical defense, lowers physical attack. Vital spirit, so you're not putting me to sleep anytime soon. Eye is keen eye, timid nature, so hey, you know, that's that's not bad. Um kinda sucks on the side of the physical uh um stab, but because it's minus physical attack plus in speed, although you you can be pretty fast though. I mean, you've got a pretty fast speed. Um plus you have psychic stab, so that's pretty good. Um <laughs> 
get really lucky with Fluffy. Fluffy is quiet nature, so I mean, not really a great nature, but that's life. Um, he got that dizzy punch thing going on. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be awesome. All right, so here we are in Aldale Town. Let's go heal on up. Heal up my Pokemon, please. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. All right. Pokemon centers are great. You can use their services as much as you like, and it's all free. You never, you never have to worry. Great. PC in the corner there is for any Pokemon trainer to use. Naturally, that means you're welcome to use it too. The Move the Leader, Move Tutor, and Name Raider are all on the second floor. It must be very convenient. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so yes, yeah, so on the second floor here, you have various people. Uh, oh yes, I'm the Move the Leader. I can make Pokemon forget their moves. Would you like me to do that? So basically, you have the Move the Leader right here, so if you have any HMs you want to get rid of, he's your guy. I'm the Move Tutor. I know all the moves that a Pokemon learn. Every one of them. And I can teach Pokemon those moves. I can, teach you po um, I can teach a move to a Pokemon of yours if you'd like. I'll do it for a heart scale. I'm collecting those now. If your Pokemon needs to learn a move, come back with a heart scale. So if you have a heart scale, you can go do that. Hi, hi, I'm the Name Raider. I'm the Fortune Teller of Names. I shall be pleased to rate your Pokemon's nicknames. I see. Do come visit again. So if you want to change your Pokemon's nicknames, you can do that. That is on the second floor of every Pokemon Center, considering that since it's a ROM act, there's really no need for, um, really no need for the, uh, Cable Club, so. That, that's just so you can do that in any town. However, now that we have Pokeballs, this place is selling a lot more stuff. You can buy Pokeballs, Great Balls, Ultra Balls, Luxury Balls, Potions, Super Potions, Hyper Potions, Max Potions, Full Restores, Full Heals, Revives, Max Revives, Aether, um, Ethers, Elixirs, Max Ethers, Max Elixirs, PPF, TP Max, Sacred Ash, Escape Rope, Heart Scale, Repel, Super Repel, Max Repel. So yes, you can actually buy Heart Scales right off the bat if you want to use the move Relearner. You can also buy Pokeballs, Ultra Balls, etc. So I'm going to buy an Ultra Ball just because why not, and I'm going to buy like 10 Pokeballs because for right now I think Pokeballs should suffice, plus we get that free Premier Ball. So you can buy all kinds of stuff in the, in the mart just right off the bat. Some of it's more expensive than others, which kind of can work against you, but still, you can get all kinds of stuff. But giving the name Pikachu to a Pikachu seems pointless. I suppose it is it, it, it is good to name a um, use a name that's easy to understand, but <laughs> for my own Pokemon, I give them perfectly suited names. It's my expression of uh, originality. Yes, that's it. Okay, sure. That's Pikachu with an E. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Oh, what did I? Eat? Hey there. When a Pokemon battle starts, the one at the left of the list goes out first. So when you get more Pokemon in your party, try switching around the order of your Pokemon. It could give you an advantage. I'm sure it could. What seems to be the problem, madam? We're three of the best plumbers that ever pulled the plum! Oh, wise guy ain't. I'm the victim of circumstance. <laughs> Alright. Uh, sure. Sure. I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were only my own footprints. Ah, I guess you truly are a rare Pokemon, aren't you? Oh, alright, this is Route 2 in the wild here. Ooh, this is actually one of the rarer Pokemon, interestingly enough. It's a, it, it's a Farfetch'd. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's headbutt it. This will probably kill, though, won't it? It lived?! It lived? Wow! Wow, let's chuck a Pokeball at it then. I know I use Farfetch'd and Grass Jewel, so I'm probably not going to use it in my uh, party long term if I catch this thing. But, still, it's not exactly a common Pokemon on this route, so it's kind of cool to have to find it. Um, also, it's it's a powerhouse. Like in Grass Jewel, it is, uh, it is a fighting flying type. So, uh, this wild duck is a, uh, it's power. It's definitely power. So, um, I'm naming you 
Leaker. Okay. So we have Leaker, who is at low health. For now, I'm gonna hold on. Wow, literally lived on one! Careful nature. That's not too bad. Not too bad. So he's fighting flying. Female. Only has Peck right now, but things could always change. So for now, I'm actually gonna hold on to Leaker, but that's just for now. I don't know if I'm actually going to be using Leaker long term. Once again, this isn't a Nuzlocke, so I can catch whatever I want or feel like using or whatever to that respect. That said, let's go heal up and, uh, you know what? Let's just take on Route 3 and then call it a day. So, this is Route 3. So, to the, uh, right would be Oldale Town. I'm gonna catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. You go do that. If you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer! You can't say no to my challenge! Let's battle! Okay. Okay, then. So, Youngster Joey would like to battle. Who definitely has that top percentage Rattata. Because, are you really surprised? Let's rock throw it. And it's stab. You're getting wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> and we're getting a lot of experience. So with that, we defeat Youngster Joey. Heck, I lost! Doggone it! I can say dog again, considering the starters. Did you know my Rattata is in the top percentage of Rattatas? I didn't know that. Cool. Cool. This guy is technically an optional battle, because, uh, you know, train if you feel like it. If you don't feel like it, your choice. So, there's a Wurmple. Alright, we can just rock throw it, and that Wurmple is not gonna take a rock throw, let's be honest. It's just not gonna happen. Not happening. Alright. Next up is another Wurmple. You know what? Let's go to Leaker. I know I said I wasn't gonna be using Leaker, but Leaker has that pack, so it's just too perfect. Just too perfect. Alright, let's peck at ya and get wrecked. Peck and wreck. That's what it's all about. Probably two levels out of that, I guess. We got False Spike. That actually could be good. That is actually really good. Just for that, I think I might actually hold on to Leaker. Because that is actually going to uh, make my life a lot easier. We got a Polka Doll! So, Route 3, that way to Petalburg. Um, okay. It's a C dot! If you don't believe me, I guess you don't see that dot. Alright, headbutt, and that should KO. Yeah, easily. Easily! I should probably battle you. You don't need to, but... Hey, I'll help you further your career, because... Because that seems like the thing to do. Oh, alright. Last Tiana with a Ralts. Oh, you must have found a Ralts in here. Ralts is actually kind of common in this game, in the grass in this route, so, or route 3. Yeah, the routes are, are numbered, um, like that. So, perhaps more intuitively, but who am I to say? Next up is Farfetch'd. Okay, you have got your own leaker, but, you know, go! I, I, let's do this! Hi, confusion! Oh, you're gonna fall swipe? That is actually the wrong thing to do. That is such a wrong thing to do. Can we get the hacks? No hacks. Okay, you know what? You know what? We're going into Rocky. I, um... You were fortunate that the Farfetch'd went for a false swipe, which made absolutely no sense. Well, I, I mean, yeah, because it was also resisted. I mean, I understand that Pekka resisted, but so is false swipe. We got that flinch! We got that there flinch! Goodbye, I know it's resisted, but, you know, might as well just do it. I grew to level 6! I learned Foresight! We defeated last Tiana, okay. Sorry I didn't help you further your career, but hey, that's okay. We got a free potion, which is, you know, not very useful, but still. Okay, we're running into a wild Wurmple. So many Wurmple. So many Wurmple. Whatever. Bye, Wurmple. Is 
or anything other than Wurmple and Sita. I know Lotad's here. I know Ralts is here. It's all kinds of Pokemon you can find all over the place. All you gotta do is look. Alright, we're not good to level 14. Alright, I think that's enough with the grinding and stuff. So, next time we are going to explore Petalburg City and move on for Route 4. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time as we continue our journey in Pokemon Scorching Scarlet. Goodbye!